Hello, my name is Angel from Hydrox Systems. Today I'm going to show you our device HHO kit model HS4000. This kit is usually producing oxyhydrogen gas, which can help you saving on fuel and reduce emissions in your vehicle. So we are going to show you a simple scheme how this kit is producing gas oxyhydrogen gas with a chemical abbreviation of HHO. So there is three main components in the HHO kit. This is the dry cell, a reservoir of the system and a bubbler. The measures of the dry cell is 19 by 19 centimeters and it's wide 12 centimeters roughly. We will show you now a simple connection of the system. In all our devices, we are using these push-in fittings, which are movable, movable 360 degrees. So during installation in a vehicle, it's much easier to install it. This is the hose which is feeding electrolyte from the reservoir to the dry cell. And uh, there is another hose which is returning the produced gas from the dry cell back to the reservoir. Okay, and the next hose, it's moving the gas from the reservoir to the bubbler. Bubbler is the device which is uh, purifying the gas, the produced gas from the reservoir. It's taking the rough steam, if there is such a steam. During usually longer operation, there is a steam because it's heating up, up to 50 degrees. And also the bubbler plays the role of a flashback arrestor in case there is a spark back from the engine then. There is another hose which is taking the produced, produced gas from the which is taking the produced gas from the bubbler to the engine intake. Here is the connector which we are using also as an inlet connector for the gas to the vehicle's intake hose, air hose. It's supposed to be connected right after the mass air flow sensor. In, uh, in the vehicle, if it's possible. Now we are going to feed the system with electrolyte, which we prepared already. For this reason, we are going to, okay, fill the system with electrolyte. You can see that the electrolyte is going to the dry cell only by the gravity way. This system at the moment, it will need like uh, 1.5 liter of electrolyte because the dry cell is uh, quite big. This is model HS4000. It has 13 plates, two of them negative and one is positive and 10 neutral plates. Okay, so now the dry cell is filled with electrolyte already, you can put back the cup, thank you, and now we are going to connect the wires, which will provide power to the dry cell to start producing gas. This is the negative connector on the dry cell. Yes, tied it a little bit so it won't lose. Now we are connecting the positive wire.
Okay, and now we will release voltage. So in this case, we will simulate the charging system of the vehicle, which is usually delivering uh, 12 to 14.5 volts. We increase the power, so it will be same like on the vehicle. It's already started to producing gas. As you can see, it's working very well. We just got 30 amps, but in a real condition in the vehicle, just do not uh, exceed 25 amperes because this will be dangerous for the charging system. Actually, not dangerous, but it won't be effective if you're using too much power from the vehicle. In not all cases, bigger is better, so <laughs> just do not exceed 25 amps. You can see now how the kit is working, it's producing gas. Usually in the vehicle we are using our device called Dynamic PWM, which is controlling amperes and voltage automatically. You don't have to do anything in case you want to install also this device with your kit in, in your vehicle. There is two models for the dynamic PWM. One is for diesel engines, one is for petrol injection engines. You can choose which one of them you might need for your vehicle. But in another video, I will explain how this dynamic PWM is working. As you can see, it's a very small device, so you can find space to install it. It's quite easy. We made it uh, digital with software, so it works totally automated, you don't have to do anything. You can see how the gas is produced. So the water is going from the reservoir to the dry cell to fill it up. And then the produced gas is going back to the reservoir where it's separating from the water. And from the upper connector, only gas is going to the bubbler, which is bubbling here to take the rough steam from the bubbler in case there is there is some steam, some steam because uh, with longer hours of operation there will be some steam because water is vaporizing also at 20 degrees of surrounding temperature and then the produced gas is going to the vehicle to the vehicle's intake actually right it should be connected right after the mass airflow sensor on the filter box, depending on the vehicle you have. Uh, you, you might be able to put it after the mass airflow sensor or before the sensor. So this is our model HHO kit, which we are calling HS4000, which is Hydrox Systems 4000, usually for vehicles between 2.5 and 4.5 liter engine displacement it's quite easy to install it in your vehicle what you need is just to find a space to mount all these uh, items under the hood in near the near the engine preferably and you can save fuel and you can reduce emissions dramatically when you're using such a device, the consumable which you need to power up this device is only electrolyte, which is quite cheap because you can prepare it from water and potassium hydroxide, which is also cheap as a raw material. And you can start saving fuel and reducing emissions also. This is very important for all of us. Okay, that's all from us for today and in the next videos we are going to show you another systems that we are producing also for light vehicles, 12 volt systems. We have also 24 and we have bigger devices as well. But for the moment we are showing you this HS4000. And if you like this video, just hit the button like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.